I don't know about those other channels, but this video has all the answers to your questions about going to a coding bootcamp versus a college degree. The reason you're here is probably because you're tired of your job. You aren't making enough money. Look, what had happened was, is I buy groceries and then I pay for my bill and I think I got a little bit more money. Try it, run that one more time. Decline? What? Or you have all the money in the world, but you aren't happy. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. If you know, you know. So here are the five things you want to consider before you decide to go to a coding bootcamp versus a college degree. Number one, you want to really consider what's going on in the job market. Number two, you really want to understand what's going on in higher education. Number three, you want to know what's going on in the coding bootcamp market. Number four, you want to know how much it costs and how you're going to finance your education. And number five, you want to understand how much time you have available to commit. So let's talk about the job market. For those of you that don't know, the top tech companies are actually dropping the requirement to have a college degree. And I'm not talking about any random tech company. I'm talking about Google. I'm talking about Apple. I'm talking about IBM. You actually do not need a college degree to become a software engineer. As a matter of fact, Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple himself, actually came out with an article talking about that. So you should look it up. The other thing to keep in mind as you think about computer science degrees is that four-year universities are graduating about 50 to 60,000 people a year versus about 30 to 40,000 people from coding boot camps. So there's over half a million open jobs and not enough people graduating to fill those open jobs. So increasingly, companies are looking more and more to hire people from alternative forms of education. Speaking of education, it's important to talk about what's going on with American colleges, especially master's programs. Clay Christensen, author of Innovator's Dilemma and the Innovative University, just predicted that half of U.S. universities are going to go bankrupt over the next five to ten years. In my opinion, I don't think that colleges are going to go away, but they're going to adapt. And you can see that with colleges themselves launching their own boot camps with organizations like Trilogy Education Services. Something to keep in mind is also the future. In the future, there's going to be about 1.4 million jobs available for computer science graduates, but only 400,000 people graduating from four-year universities. The thing that people are starting to realize is that two to four years is too long and people aren't completing the programs in enough time. Right now, the national completion rate for college is around 61%, and people are graduating without the skills they need to get a job. As you think about time, make sure that whichever program that you're considering, whether it's a boot camp or college, is aligned with the needs of the workforce so that you're ready for the job market. So let's talk about the coding boot camp market. The main difference between coding boot camps and four-year universities is that they measure the success on you getting a job. If you don't get a job, a coding boot camp is not successful. The other thing that's important to understand is that the majority of people in coding boot camps, over 70% of them, are actually people that have bachelor's degrees. Why is that? The reason why is because when people are majoring in computer science, a lot of times they're mostly focused on theory. In coding boot camps, they're really focused on practical things that employers actually want. And they also prepare you for interviews like whiteboarding and mock interviews, just like you would in the real world. Everybody's a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. The other thing to understand is that there's over a thousand boot camps in the U.S. And there's different kinds. There's full-time, there's part-time, there's self-paced, there's online, there's in-person. And again, there's about 30 to 40,000 people that are graduating from boot camps every single year versus 50 to 60,000 from four-year universities. Finally, I think this is a really important point to understand, is that the bootcamp alumni network is strong. 
Boot camps have existed since 2012, and there's over 34,000 people that have graduated with two to four years of experience that are working in companies today, and some of them never went to college and are willing to put their reputation on the line to vouch for you so that you can get that interview that you've always wanted and skip the normal recruiting process. So don't forget that. Whatever comes out of these gates, we've got a better chance of survival if we work together. So let's talk about the money, money, money. money. A lot of you can't pay tuition out of pocket. A lot of you already have student loans. And those options are available for college and coding boot camps. But what's starting to happen is a third option, which is something called an income share agreement. And what an income share agreement is, is essentially a promise to you saying that the coding bootcamp or the college will get you a job above a certain salary. And if you don't get a job, you don't have to pay tuition. If you do get a job above that certain salary, then you pay a percentage of your future salary to pay off the tuition up to a cap. So you'll always know the amount that you're going to pay. And if it's from a coding bootcamp, it's always cheaper than college. Some coding bootcamps and colleges have scholarships. So make sure you do your research. We actually have a lot of blogs about those things, so make sure you check those out. Um, and I think the most interesting new model of financing is actually the employer as payer model. If you're interested in that, make sure you check out programs like Adobe Digital Academy, where they partner with programs like General Assembly, or you see what General Assembly is doing with Microsoft and other things like that. Um, it exists, it's not as common, but it's starting to become more in vogue. So number five, let's talk about time. This is probably the most important factor because the world is changing and sometimes two to four years is too long. If you're tired of your job, need money, or you aren't happy, you probably want to switch careers as soon as possible. Boot camps take what normally requires two to four years to learn and condenses it into about three to 12 months depending on which program you choose. If you decide to do a full-time bootcamp, it's usually about three months. If you do something part-time, it's about six months to nine months. If you do something self-paced, it's usually six to 12 months. Finally, like I said before, it's important to understand that colleges themselves are launching coding bootcamps as well. So don't sleep on those types of opportunities that currently exist. With that said, you can choose to do the longer two to four year version of college and getting a degree, but those are all the trade-offs that you need to consider as you're evaluating it. Boom! So that's what I think, man. Look, these are the five things that I think you should consider as you decide whether you want to do a coding bootcamp versus a college degree, but you might think different. So let me know in the comments, what is it? Coding bootcamp or college degree? So just know, I've helped hundreds of people get jobs from coding boot camps, so I'm excited to help you too.